Hey, what is going on guys? Donovan here. Now, I apologize if I sound different. The last like week and a half has been incredibly hectic. I flew out to London to visit family, and then we went to Germany, and then back to London, and then back home, and then right when I got home, I got super sick. I'm still kind of sick, and you can probably hear it in my voice, but the show must go on. You guys know I have this like odd matte finish on my wheels, so we're gonna see if this stuff can save them. Before we get started, I do want to thank Adams Polishes. I wasn't sponsored or anything and they didn't send me this for free, but they have the best customer support. I had an issue with one of their products, so I went ahead and sent them an email and they got it all resolved for me, told me what to get, and uh, now I'm a happy camper. So we're going to see if this stuff can make me even happier uh, with Adams Polishes. So I'm wearing the GoPro headband and I feel like a doofus right now. So. Make sure to leave a like and make this worth it for me. So the directions say to rinse the wheels off well, so we're gonna do that. We're gonna start with the curved wheel, RIP. So I had to trim this thing a little bit for whatever reason, so whatever. Still doesn't completely fit, so we're just gonna get that hoe on there right, turn it on. Now the directions say to spray liberally, so ooh, everyone in my comments is gonna freak out. So we're gonna let that sit for a minute. As you can see, it's supposed to change color as it activates or whatever. That means it's working and I'm gonna go get a brush and we're gonna scrub it a little bit because it says you can agitate it and it should help. Now, please don't crucify me. I'm not using the Adams Polishes brush because I wasn't able to order it, but I do have this one. It's brand new. It's not too, uh, the bristles aren't too hard, so it shouldn't, it shouldn't hurt the wheels. I will say, this stuff does not smell the best. It doesn't smell bad by any means, but I mean, what are you really gonna expect from a bottle full of chemicals that's supposed to eat up brake dust, so. So they want you to rinse thoroughly the the wheel because they don't really want chemicals sitting on it it could eat the paint up so we're gonna do that now it's never a bad idea to dry the wheels off so that you don't get water spots so I'm gonna go ahead and do that as well Now I've got to say, it didn't really make the wheels black, but that's not the job that it's supposed to do because the inside of the wheels isn't normally just black. Uh, it's actually kind of this gray color. But as you can see, now when I run my finger on it, uh, there's, there's nothing on my finger. It pretty much ate everything off. Uh, if we go check the front, which I haven't cleaned yet, uh, and I run my finger a little bit there, I mean, it's already, it's already getting dirty. So I'm gonna do the rest of the wheels and then uh, I'll give you my conclusion at the end. So I went ahead and did all of the wheels and as you guys can see, they're actually looking really good. I'm very happy with, especially how this front one came out. So the front one, there was a lot more like purple goo dripping down, but that makes sense because the front wheels generate more brake dust because when you're coming to a stop, it uses the, the front brakes more than the rear ones. but. Wow, I'm actually, <laughs> I'm really surprised on how it made it look. And I, like I said before, I didn't expect it to make the inside of the wheel well, like, or not the wheel well, like the inside of the wheel black, but it really did clean them. So I'll probably just have to throw something else on there, which I'm sure Adams has um, to restore that like black uh, tone to them. 
Oh, finally the sun decided to come out. So I was thinking if it didn't work exactly how I hoped, I would try out this matte detailer. But um, I don't think I'm really going to need to. I think I'm just going to save this for the stripes and make those things look fresh. But that's pretty much it. If I was to give this product a rating out of 10, I would probably give it an 8.5. But the only reason I'm knocking off that like 1.5 is because it is kind of expensive. I think it's like 15 bucks for this little bottle, which is... 16 ounces so whatever it works though and it works better than anything else i've tried so it is worth that 15 dollars so if you're really holding off because of the price just go ahead and do it you're going to be happy with it and once again i want to say thank you to adam's polishes for an amazing customer service team you guys are super helpful and you guys never made me feel like i was bothering you so which i tend to do so i really thank you that's going to be the end of the video, guys. So if you enjoyed it, or if you just want to support the channel, please remember to click that like button below. If you aren't subscribed, what are you doing? Click the subscribe button. Get notified on my future uploads. Once again, sorry about my voice. Hopefully it'll be better by the next video. Anyways, I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.